All right, we're going to find the equation of a quadratic, specifically a parabola, uh, through three points, and we're going to do it by hand, which uh, is going to kind of be awful, but we're going to do it. Um, so what we're going to use is something called standard form, and standard form looks like um, ax squared plus bx plus c um, equals y, or y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Um, and so that's the form that we're going to use. And then... I just want you to know that in that form, the y-intercept is easy to identify. It's 0, c. Uh, the vertex is not quite so easy to identify in that form. Uh, you may have already learned that it's the opposite of b over 2a, comma, plug that in uh, and see what you get. But um, either way, we don't really need that in this case. So uh, let's, let's do this. So we need to be given three points. Um, so negative 1, 14, 2, 5, and 3, 14. So... I chose these points so that the uh, values that we get for a, b, and c are integers, because uh, that's a lot easier, and I just wanted to do an example. Um, but, you know, you could get some messy values when you do this. All right, so we start off with uh, that ax squared plus bx plus c equals y. So uh, let's do that. So a, and then the first x is negative 1. So I end up with um, the quantity negative 1 squared plus b times the quantity negative 1 plus c equals 14. Then I'm going to do that for the other two points. So it all goes back to that original equation. So again, you have to have that memorized, otherwise I don't know what you're going to do here. Um, so we get this. Okay. Um, and that is actually three equations in three unknowns, so that's a system of equations. So uh, what I'll do before I really get started is uh, kind of simplify this out. So I'm just, you know, squaring and rearranging and making it look pretty. Um, so that's really the system of equations that we have, and to uh, make it easier to kind of talk my way through this, I'm going to label each of those equations. So I'm going to label them 1, 2, and 3. All right, so first thing that I'm going to do to solve this is I really need to work my way down to two equations and two unknowns, solve that system, and then use that system to find uh, the third value. Uh, it makes sense to try to eliminate c right away because all of the equations have plus c. So I'm going to start with um, equation 3 minus equation 1 which will give me uh, 9a minus a is 8a, and then 3b minus negative b is plus 4b, and then uh, c minus c is 0, 14 minus 14 is 0. All right. Um, then I'm going to do equation 3 minus equation 2, which will give me uh, 9a minus 4a is 5a, and then plus uh, 3b minus 2b is 1b, and then uh, c minus c, that's gone, and then 14 minus 5 is 9. Uh, so I'm going to call, well actually, if you notice when I did equation 3 minus equation 1, uh, there was a common factor that I could have gotten rid of, so let me do that. So divide through by 4, and you get 2a plus b equals 0. I'm going to call that equation 4, and then I'm going to call this next thing equation 5. And now I'm solving the system uh, that involves equations 4 and 5. So what I'm going to do is equation 5 minus equation 4. And that should give me 3a, the b's cancel, and then 9 minus 0 is 9, and then that gives me a is 3. So now I know what a is. All right. So uh, I'm going to go back to equation 4 and start uh, kind of back solving is what I call it. So you take things that you found and you substitute them back in. So now I know that a is 3. So in equation 4, I get uh, 2 times the quantity 3 plus b equals 0, um, and that tells me that b is negative 6. So now I know a and b, so I can use any of my first three equations. And uh, I'm going to pick the first one because it has the smallest coefficients, which is what I always recommend you do. So we're using equation one. Um, so it's going to be a and then minus b and then plus c equals 14. Um, so 3 minus negative 6 is 9. 14 minus 9 is 5, so c is 5. Okay, so I know what a, b, and c are, but I'm not really done with the problem because I wanted the actual equation. So what I do is I go back to that standard form, and I get 3x squared minus 6x plus 5, and that's the equation that I was looking for. So it's not the worst process in the world, uh, but it can be messy. So you definitely want to be organized. Um, I don't necessarily know that my work is the best work you'll ever see, but uh, using the kind of encoding system that I used, it's very easy to follow. Uh, but you should definitely do whatever your teacher suggests in terms of organizing your work on these problems. Anyway, just wanted to do an example with you, and I uh, hope you found it helpful. Good luck.